Do you feel at home here? Uh, I'm getting there. Uh, Dallas is welcoming me with open arms and very far we can get our win on the home floor. So good. thanks for stopping. Look, nobody wants to give Kyrie Irving a five-year, $272 million max contract. But, but seriously, when you look at what the Dallas Mavericks have done to themselves, they might actually be forced to give Kyrie exactly what he wants. Now, we've all seen Kyrie Irving during the playoffs actually show up in Los Angeles and shake uh, hands with LeBron James. They do their handshakes, they do their foot shakes, uh, they hug, they chat, and they do all sorts of things that leads us all to believe and of course speculate that Kyrie Irving has already shipped his furniture out of Dallas and is living exclusively in Los Angeles with the hopes that an actual deal will get done which will ship Kyrie in some bizarre, strange way to the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, the Lakers, on the other hand, are certainly not in a position to give Kyrie his five-year deal. And the Dallas Mavericks, on the other hand, are going to have a bunch of egg on their face if Kyrie simply in free agency walks out the door and they basically end up with nothing. Look, uh, the Dallas Mavericks at the very least are going to have to offer Kyrie a three-year deal to keep him in Dallas. But that, my friends, is not what Kyrie Irving wants. Kyrie Irving really wants the big deal if he can get it. He wants that five-year, $272 million max deal. And in order for that to happen, he might have to go someplace other than Los Angeles. He certainly would have to look at a whole slew of other teams that have a lot of young talent that the Dallas Mavericks would be able to trade for in a sign and trade deal. That other team that, uh, quite frankly, has the most young talent on it that the Dallas Mavericks should theoretically be interested in would be, of course, the Houston Rockets. Now, we've all seen the young talent on this Houston Rockets team. But for the Dallas Mavericks to allow Kyrie to actually stay in the state of Texas, well, that is just more egg on their face, if you know what I mean. Now... If Kyrie does get signed and traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, the Dallas Mavericks would probably end up with a bunch of players that, quite frankly, they don't really want. D'Angelo Russell is, is certainly one of those players that they've already stated they have no desire to get, but it would be better than nothing because when you start looking at the rest of that Laker roster, what exactly would the Dallas Mavericks end up with? Mo Bamba? How about a aging and a depleting Malik Beasley? Like, I love all these other shows that talk about Malik Beasley as if Malik Beasley is even a good basketball player in the National Basketball Association anymore. He isn't. Malik Beasley, quite frankly, is completely down the backside of Career Mountain, and it happened at a very young age. So what do the Dallas Mavericks do? Well, at the same time, the Dallas Mavericks have to find a way to keep Luka Doncic happy. And keeping Luka Doncic happy is, of course, the number one priority of this Dallas Mavericks franchise. So if they have to do it, they should just go ahead and pull the trigger. And I can't believe I'm gonna say this for one of the wackiest players in the National Basketball Association. But if the Dallas Mavericks want to have any kind of stability, I can't even believe I'm going to say this, they would literally have to do the five-year, $272 million deal to keep Kyrie Irving in Dallas. All right, uh, uh, tell me what you think. Go ahead and drop your comments in. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet to the House of Takes, please go ahead and do that. And of course, like this video for the House of Takes. I'm Dave Dubois, wishing you all a tremendous rest of your sports viewing day.